Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. And we're on a construction site in Clearwater Beach. Many people are working here. So forgive me for the sound quality. Not the best, I understand. But I have an interesting product for you. Not only is this a Philip Jeffries, but it's their leather, okay? And it's going into a nice basement. So I want to show you what we're doing. We're wrapping it around these walls here, up against this masonry. So we're going to start here, bring it around here, and we're going to end in these very difficult spots, okay? This presents a very peculiar problem, which I'll discuss in a few. Same thing here. The house we're hanging it in is the basement of a home that featured our wallpaper installation in a Florida home magazine. And maybe I'll put a link in the bottom for that as well. So what I did with this epi leather, EPI leather, is I treated the walls first, wiped them down, and this has a Venetian plaster-like finish on it, a very shiny uh, sheen to it. And so it had to be neutralized with a pigmented acrylic primer. Philip Jeffries requires that we don't use uh, Roman uh, R35. I called them and I asked them why not, and they said they've had adhesive problems with the R35. So that's a clear sealer that we use quite often, but they don't like it. In addition to gluing the back of the leather, I've also applied a layer of glue on the wall. What I'm gonna do now is wait till this gets tacky. When you put a thin layer of glue on the wall, this Romans 880, believe it or not, it dries like paint and you can't really see any raised glue texture on it. It dries like paint. But you wanna get it between the point at which it goes from being wet to completely dry. Where when you touch it, it's sticky. That's what I'm waiting for. But while I wait, what I'm going to do, you see these little, these little crevices here? This creates a major problem for the installer. To get this leather in there, I'm going to have to, first of all, get my artist brush in these nooks and crannies with a special glue. Let me show you the glue. I'm using the product this is extreme tack. It was very difficult to get a brush in there to put the, put the uh, sealer coat. And so I'm going to use my artist brushes that I got from Michaels, that's an artist store, to simply take the, the, um, that glue and get it in those nooks and crannies so that the, the, uh, the, the leather stays down. And here's our product right here again. Let me just show you how nice this stuff is. This is a dark, either brown, it looks like a beef jerky to me, okay? So I've, I've glued the back of it and we're waiting for it to tack up. Join me on the next part where I show you how to go about installing this stuff. It's expanding right now as it absorbs all of the glue and we want it to get to the point at which it stops expanding and it's ready to hang. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Thanks for watching my channel. Please click on like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.